I uh, had somewhat of a first-hand experience with the last known exchange of uh, alleged U.S. and Russian spies. Uh, it was in the uh, early fall of 1986, uh, a fellow reporter, Nicholas Danloff, who worked for U.S. News and World Report, uh, a man who spoke uh, fabulous Russian, had great contacts inside the Soviet Union at that time, and whose family had actually come from Russia, was picked up in Lennon Hills uh, as he was meeting a Russian contact. His arrest, uh, it quickly became obvious, uh, was in retaliation for the U.S. having picked up a Russian physicist who worked for the United Nations. Uh, by, I think, about the 23rd of the month, however, the swap had been arranged. Nick was taken to the airport and spirited out of the country. W w all of this done with the help of the U.S. Embassy, of course. During the Cold War days in, in, in Russia, it was, always, uh, it was always a great fear that somebody you uh, had routinely talked to uh, was in fact going to set a reporter up because uh, we actually were not diplomats. We had no protection under uh, the rules of diplomacy, so uh, there was a great fear that anything could happen. Obviously, we knew that the American government would help where they could, but uh, because we didn't have diplomatic status, certainly we had no assurance that we were going to get out of the country. You know, I think that people may think the Cold War is over, why spy? Uh, but the fact of the matter is all countries spy on all other countries. Uh, it's just perhaps that the stakes are not quite as high and the rhetoric is not quite as vitriolic when uh, the spies are uncovered.